by design, we, we invest in quality businesses, as, as, as I said, that have uh, less exposure to the economic cycle. So coming into the downturn, uh, we weren't hit too badly. So we outperformed significantly through February and March because we had that portfolio that's more resilient to um, the economic cycle and, and disruption uh, in things like COVID. So um, that was partly by design. But then through the through COVID and as it started to affect markets, we very much found there was a lot of opportunities to buy really good businesses very cheaply. So we added a few stocks in particular, like Bapcor, which is the uh, supplier to mechanics of automotive parts, a very resilient business that uh, had positive comp sales growth through the GFC um, and was temporarily disrupted by mechanics effectively being locked down and uh, not, uh, not being able to operate. Uh, Auckland Airport was another one, which obviously was severely affected by international and domestic travel being locked down. Um, but that is a monopoly asset in the premier city in New Zealand, uh, an infrastructure asset that owns its, its own land and assets. And so at some point, we took the view that um, you know, people movement would, would, would rebound and the government would, restrictions would be lifted. Uh, and you know, buying an asset at a severely discounted uh, valuation like that was a fantastic opportunity. Another one was uh, Collins Foods. So we uh, added that um, through the downturn as well, um, which again is another resilient uh, business that, 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 that trades, um, it's a KFC um, uh, out, outlets around Australia uh, and a little bit in Europe. And that is a low priced meal that, that generally trades well through uh, any, any economic conditions. But one of the interesting things with uh, our portfolio, I went back and looked at the, the top holdings in January. Uh, and the top five holdings in January, of those, three are still in our top five. So they are, they are EQT, Main Freight and News Corp. So uh, it goes to highlight that the businesses we own, we're really looking out through the long term. And we're not really trying to trade stocks or rent stocks and buy and sell. We're trying to hold businesses for a long period of time and compound uh, our investment returns.